Hi students, in this tutorial we'll cover how to put together a basic Behance presentation that will include Photoshop mockups and also your design for your home and feature pages. Okay, so our first step is to go to the, today's assignment and download the template file for your Behance presentation. Once you've downloaded it, grab it out of the downloads file folder and drop it into your intro to interactive I'm your biggest fan wherever your files are drop it in there unzip it and you should see a Behance assets folder that has your template file and also two PSD files and um, a PDF so just go ahead and open the template file and you'll see um, a mock-up both of the mock-ups and the basic uh, layout for each artboard. So some basic things you need to know when doing a Behance presentation. One, the width is always 1400 pixels and two, uh, never exceed about six to 8,000 pixels because Behance for some strange reason will scale your design down and that will have it pixelate which is not an end result that we would like to have. So let's get started in putting this design together. It's pretty straightforward. We're just going to open the PSD file for the laptop and the mobile to start and also make sure in another tab in Illustrator you have all your layout files um, for your project. So if I dump over to Photoshop, it's pretty easy to work with this. You just open the notebook folder. There is one for your mock-up. It has a change this. If I double click that, I can turn off uh, smart object. I'm going to select and copy my layout out of Illustrator and paste that as a smart object into Photoshop. Now you may have to scale it up or down depending on your design. Everybody's may be just a little bit different. get something like this and I just want to add a white layer below it and hit save and close it and voila my design is in the laptop and we'll do the same thing for the phone same process under mock-up change this double click that and it'll open up the phone mock-up, turn it off, jump over to Illustrator, select the comp, the phone comp that we want to copy. We're going to paste it as a smart object. I'm going to do the same process again. There is no silver bullet for copy and pasting this thing over that make it goes faster. It's a tedious process, just part of getting the comp done. So that's my mobile design. Copy and paste it over. You put a white background behind it again. Just going to hit save and it pastes it into my phone. I'm going to hit save here, jump over to Illustrator, back to my template. 
If it doesn't ask you to automatically update it, what you'll do is under Window, go to Links, you'll see a laptop and phone, select that, and hit Update Link. Voila. So now we want to get our home page into the design. I put some guides in place to help everybody keep a consistent width. I want everybody to have a nice margin so there's plenty of space um, around your design so your design's not bleeding to the edge of Behance. I just think this will present a, a nicer, cleaner overall design for everyone. So I'm going to take my home, I'm going to copy that from my design paste it into the template, scale it down to fit the width, have a mar uh, guide for everybody to buck the design up to, and we can see that our height for our art part is too high, so I'm going to go into the document setup. And if you don't see this, you can do it through artboards or however you select your artboards. A lot of times you can get it to it through workspace and layout and it gives you this preference. I prefer to have it up there because it's a lot easier just to quickly edit. But again, it's however, whatever works for you. I'm gonna try to get the artboard to butt up close to the end of the design because at the top here, we've put padding in, white space in place between the end of whatever design you have and the start of the next. So now we have our home, mobile, and um, desktop, I mean laptop in place, and our home page in place. And now we're going to do the same process we did with the laptop and mobile on the mobile layout here. So again, that's pretty easy. I can select my mobile layout, since I'm in Illustrator, and copy that. Go to Photoshop. Open my mobile. And it's the same process. So I'd like to start with the phone in the middle. Not to change color, but the mock up. Change this, double click on that, turn it off. I'm going to paste my mobile layout as a smart object. Same process. a white layer, put it underneath, hit save, just double check it, uh, you can see there's a hairline there so I'll butt it over a tad, there we go, hit save, close it, and then it updates it in the phone, and literally I would do that for the next three, so you'll do the same process again. Then number two, change this. I'm going to turn this one off, paste, smart object, zoom way out because my phone for some reason is super small. Hopefully yours pastes in and it's close to scale so you don't have to do this tedious scaling, but it is what it is. So now do a little differently is the second part of the design I'm going to do something like this put a white background behind it so it's kind of like we're scrolling so on the 
main screen I had the hero image at top on the second screen it's if I scrolled a swipe now I have the image with the, the young lady and the pattern behind it and now that populates our second so if I continue with this process number three here I do the same I copy and paste it in put a white background behind it save populates that one if I find number four I do the same again double click in the mock-up change this paste it here probably would do where the green is get something like this and then I put again a white background behind it save it populates that one and then our last one which again I would copy and paste in if I scroll down a little further put a white background behind it and save it so you can just show the parts of the interface that you think are really important. So the bigger question might be is, hey Alan, Jeff, I don't have this long of a home page layout for my mobile. What do I do? And that's pretty simple. Maybe you just have enough to fill three phones. You just turn off maybe those two and you have a layout that's something like this. That would totally work. And just save it. Jump over to Illustrator. They'll ask if you want to update it. You say yes. Get the spinning beach ball of doom. And then it populates your wonderful design on the iPhone mockups. Okay, a quick note before we jump into adding the rest of our feature pages to our Behance layout. Um, in the two PSD files, it's relatively easy to change the color of the background. If at the bottom, you can change any of these to any color you want to work with. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your layouts. You can change both the colors at the bottom here. Okay, let's jump back over to Illustrator. So we have the titles here with the home page, mobile home page, and feature article really this is just your first feature that you want to show um, for this example the student chose to focus on an article um, first so that's what we're going to lay out um, so it's pretty straightforward you're just going to take your first feature you're going to copy it from your design boards you're going to turn the guides on command colon you're going to paste it in there and simply scale it down to fit within those margins. Take it, bring it down the page here. Just again, make sure the width matches. Line it up here and then double check. Right now we're a little bit too long on the artboard. So hit to edit your artboard and bring it up to where that design ends. Pretty simple. Come in here, you can change the font and the color to match the font and colors you use in your layout and change the title from featured article to whatever 
you know your feature is called so I'm gonna do my second feature pretty simple I'm gonna copy and paste the title over our second feature oops sorry about that is a storefront page here so I'm gonna copy that paste it over do the same process again scale it down line it here yep that works change the title and change the artboard size so again this artboard is really long come in here edit it to match the height of the design still not quite there and on this last one here if you have to add more artboards if you happen to have more features simple way to do it is you could if you want to keep the same margins what I do is I just delete and you can hold option and shift on the Mac and I think it's control and shift on the PC but who knows it's a PC <laughs> and now just to keep all your guides in place you can draw a guide draw a guide see this one is a little bit off and then I'm gonna copy my last design which is a search paste scale this down Snap it into place, change the title. And again, edit the artboard. All right, so now we have our home and our three features in place with two uh, mock-ups. This concludes our Behance presentation version one. We covered editing PSD mockups for both the phone and the laptop, and also how to add our home and feature pages to an overall presentation. Best of luck with all of your designs.